Hi, my name is RJ. I'm from AutoCAD architecture team here at Autodesk. In this video, we'll review the enhancements for corner window, IFC, column grid, and overall AutoCAD architecture performance. First, let's review what a corner window is and how to insert a corner window in a drawing. Corner windows are windows that are created at L-shaped wall junction with window panes extended at both sides of the walls. Let's insert a corner window to this drawing. I select a corner window tool from the tools palette. Next, I select the first wall to insert the corner window. A preview of the corner window is displayed. If the selected wall has two qualified wall corners, you can drag your cursor from one wall corner to another. Before inserting the corner window, I specify the value for width 1 and width 2 and press tab to toggle the values. Width 1 is a corner window opening width that is assigned to the first wall selected. Being still in the preview mode, I now change the opening measure of the corner window width from the properties palette to inside of opening, center of opening or outside of opening. I'll now select the second wall to insert the corner window at the wall junction. The corner window is now inserted. I'll now change the style of the corner window from the Style Manager. For example, you may want to create a corner window with butt glazing. In the Dimensions tab, I'll click Butt Glazing at Corner. Notice that butt glazing is applied at the corner window. Now. Let's use the grips to edit the corner window. I select the corner window and then select the flip grip to flip the corner window panes. Now I select the location grip. I'll press Ctrl and go through the options. I select specify wall corner to relocate the corner window into another wall corner. I select move vertically to move the corner window vertically. I select move within to move the corner window within a wall. I'll now change the angle of the wall. Notice the corner window dynamically adjusts itself to the angle of the wall. We can also dimension a corner window and create a window schedule. Notice in the window schedule the corner window has two widths. Now let's review the updates to IFC feature. Before we start, Let's review what we can do in IFC this year. Since some of the object attributes in IFC entities are not supported in AutoCAD architecture, we can now map IFC object attributes manually using a set of IFC object attribute property sets to AutoCAD architecture objects. We can now define objects contained in a space using location property sets and attach any classifications to an object and export it to IFC. We can support these by using some predefined sample drawings specified in the following location. In the Style Manager, I'll open the samples and copy and paste the required object attributes, property sets and classifications in my current drawing. Now, I'll map the object attributes, property sets and classifications to AutoCAD architecture objects. In the drawing, I select the wall. In the Properties Palette Extended Data tab, I click the Add Property Set button. I select IFC Object Attribute IFC Wall and QTO Wall IFC Element Quantity dot Base Quantities. Then I click OK. I then select the space and add the space object property set to it. Next, I select the conference table and add the IFC space containment property set to it. I select a property data location point displayed on the conference table and drag it to reference the correct space. I now attach the classifications to the objects. Let's export this drawing to IFC. In the IFC export dialog options tab, there are two new tabs, the Address tab and the View tab. In the Address tab, I'll edit the IFC site address to be exported and imported. 
Next, I click the View tab. Click Quantity Add-on to export quantity property sets attached before as IFC quantity. Under Space Boundary Add-on, click one of the following. Level 1 to independently export only the surfaces of each space. Level 2 to export adjacent spaces to form surfaces that may correspond to only one adjacent space. Click OK. I'll enter the project number and zip this file. I'll click Browse and from Files of Type drop down, I'll select IFC zip file star.ifczip. Now I click Export. You can also extract IFC zip file when you are importing. Now let's review the updates to Custom Column Grid and Enhance Custom Grid. In Custom Column Grid, we can now Generate labels automatically. I'll first select the line work that we want to convert to custom column grid. I click the custom grid convert option in the ribbon. I press enter to accept the default extension value for the length of the bubble from the grid. Notice that the labels are generated on the custom column grid without a value. To add a value, I select the custom column grid and click edit labels. Next, I select the grid lines one by one. I'll enter the initial value for the label and press enter. Notice that the label values are automatically generated according to the order in which we select the grid line. In the enhanced custom grid, we can now create an enhanced custom grid from an existing enhanced custom grid or an orthogonal grid. Edit the Enhanced Custom Grid in the Column Grid dialog. Let's first create an Enhanced Custom Grid from the existing Enhanced Custom Grid or an Orthogonal Grid. I'll first click the Enhanced Custom Grid option. Next, in the Custom Grid dialog, I'll click the Set From option. When the dialog temporarily closes, I select the existing Enhanced Custom Grid that we had created earlier. The grid data is extracted and populated in the editable table. We can edit the grid further in this dialog and click OK. And now click on the drawing to place the grid. And edit the enhanced custom grid using the edit grid option. In the column grid dialog, I'll add some more top base and left base. Next, I'll uncheck this to remove bubbles from the bottom end of the grid lines. I'll now press OK. Notice that my edits are incorporated to the Enhanced Custom Grid. Let's edit the Enhanced Custom Grid manually with grips. Notice that the grid lines are adjusted accordingly. Now, let's review the updates to AutoCAD Architecture Performance. AutoCAD Architecture's overall performance has been improved, especially in terms of speed, when we launch AutoCAD Architecture Open an AutoCAD architecture file, add AutoCAD architecture objects, copy and move AutoCAD architecture objects, orbit to change the view of a drawing. While using orbit to change the view of a drawing, hatch properties are disabled that results in improved performance and speed. So let's summarize what we have reviewed in this video. We created a corner window at an L-shaped wall junction. We used predefined samples to map AutoCAD architecture objects to the object attributes in IFC entities during IFC export and import. We created and edited custom column grids and enhanced custom grids. We discussed overall AutoCAD architecture's performance, especially in terms of speed. Thank you.